Ordinary Lives by J. Gabrielle. Chapter 4 Lake Apopka. Jolene and Diesel unlocked the winch on the pontoon's trailer and let it float into Lake Apopka. Jolene was a volunteer for Florida Lake Watch and she took water samples from nearby lakes. Today she and her Rottweiler were on Lake Apopka, part of the Harris chain of lakes. Jolene fitted Diesel with his life vest and they were off. Floating along on the dark waters, she took up her binoculars and scanned the horizon. Bird life was abundant. There were osprey and hinga, vultures, and a rail-tailed hawk. She maneuvered to the GPS coordinates recorded on her assignment sheet. After dropping anchor, Jolene set up her vials and test tubes. Arf! Arf! Diesel, cut it out. Leave the ducks alone, she warned the excited canine. She dipped bottles in and out of the green water. Mmm, she moaned. The aroma of the lake was arousing. She took a deep breath, inhaling the muggy, green-smelling air. Arf! 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 Diesel, calm down, Jolene ordered. Arf! Arf! What's up with that dog? Probably a turtle, she thought. She put away her testing kit and went to the front of the boat where Diesel was stationed. Swish! Splash! An alligator was sending on a log, snatched off by a shark. Jolene lifted her binoculars and searched the waters. This was unbelievable, and yet she had seen it. She took the joint out of her pocket and medicated her mind. She needed to calm down and think. In with the good shit and out with the bullshit, she said to Diesel. After two or three more drags, she put it out and into an empty cigarette package from beneath her captain's chair. Who to call? Who would believe such a thing? Ring, ring. Hello? Jay, is this you? Yes, Jolene, what's up? You're not going to believe this. I just saw a shark in Lake Apopka. Hey, if I can see a monkey in my backyard, you can see a shark in that lake. I knew it was connected to the Atlantic Ocean, but I had no idea. Come on over and tell me all about it. Did you get any pictures? That's why I called you. We have got to get pictures and I need your help. To be continued.